Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex, I'm a Google developer expert for Firebase and I'm gonna show you in this video how to create a chatbot with Firebase Firestore and Palm on Android. This is a video for an article that I wrote, link is in the description below, which was recently published on the Firebase developers official publication on Medium. So let's begin. I recently wrote an article called how to create a chatbot with Firebase Firestore and ChatGPT on Android. So if you are interested, I encourage you to take a look. Since BARD is now available in Europe, I decided to make this video to show you how to create your own Android app that interacts with Palm. So you'll be able to ask Palm anything you want and you'll get your answer almost instantly. So what is Palm? Let's try to make an experiment. Let's first build the app and then ask Palm itself what Palm is. So we'll see the answer that Palm provides a bit later. So what we will build? We'll build an Android app in which we'll be able to interact with Palm using a Firebase extension called Chatbot with Palm API. The app is composed only of two screens. The first screen consists of a single text field where we are asked to type a name and the second one that consists of a list of previously asked questions along with their answers. There is also a text field present where we can write questions that can be sent to Palm. So let's take a look at our application. I have my emulator running. Let me type my name and let's go ahead and open the chat. As you can see, there are no questions yet. So let's ask Palma a question. What is Firebase in 30 words? So Firebase is a mobile and a web application developer platform that provides developer with a comprehensive set of tools and services to build and so on. Now let's go ahead and take a look in our console. Here is the document that was added and here is the response. Before going forward with the code, there is one thing that we should note. By the time I'm writing this article to be able to use the chat with Palm API extension, you have to ensure that you have already signed up for the whitelist and you have been approved before actually installing it. Once you have been approved, also make sure to activate the generative language API in the Google Cloud Console. When it comes to selecting the cloud function location, I will choose Iowa US Center 1 and it worked perfectly fine. The installation of the extension is very simple and it only takes a couple of minutes. During the installation, you'll be asked to provide a Firestore collection path for storing the conversation history. There is also one very important feature that worth mentioning, which is that the collection path also supports wildcards. This means that you can trigger the extension on multiple collections with its own separate conversation. This is useful if you want to create separate conversations for different users or support multiple chat sessions. That also means that it is recommended to implement Firebase authentication. There are multiple types of authentication. You can authenticate your users anonymously with email and password or with Google or any other providers. To keep things simple, in this example, we'll only use a simple name that is set by the user on the first screen. Right after we type a name, we can hit open chat, as you already seen, and we can write a question. When we hit send, the question is saved in a document in the Firestore collection called History. The document looks like this. As you can see, it only contains two fields, a created by field which contains a name and the field called prompt that holds the actual question. As soon as the new document is added to the history collection, a count function will fire and will up the document twice. Once by adding the created time field that holds a timestamp and a processing state which will be visible until the operation for getting the response is complete. And once with the completed state, that indicates that the answer is written inside the document in a field called response. Now let's go ahead and see our clean architecture Android app that interacts with Palm. Before writing code, please make sure you have added the following versions for dependencies in the build grader project file and the following dependencies inside the build gradle module file. Going forward with the Android code, we have a single activity called main activity where we create the nav graph and we set the soft input mode. 
the nav graph looks like this. The request name screen, as you already seen, is very simple. And as I said before, it only contains a text field and a button. When we press the button, we get the user input and we navigate further to the chat screen. The content of this screen is composed of a lazy column that holds the question and the answers and the text to write the question to Palm. When we press the button, we actually call the send question function that exists inside the chat view model class. Please notice that in this class we also have an init block that calls the get question function that collects the data from Firestore. Inside the send question function, we call the send question to Firestore function that exists inside the chat repository interface. The implementation of this function exists inside the chat repository implementation class. And that's pretty much all of it. Now we can ask Pal any question we want in our own Android application. Finally, let's also answer the question that remained unanswered. What is Pal? So let's ask another question. What is... And that's it, send. So Google Palm is a large language model from Google AI and so on. So in conclusion, that's the simplest way in which we can create our own Android app that connects to Palm using Cloud Firestore and Chatbot with Palm API Firebase extension. I hope you find this article useful. And if you have any questions regarding this topic, feel free and leave a comment in the section below. So in, in the end, guys, you can check the entire article on medium if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button but if you think you learned something new please subscribe to my channel because more videos are coming bye